Hello friends, welcome to this video and to this channel. This week was week number two of my teaching experience at Georgetown College. I am now a marketing professor for marketing analytics and measurement course in the winter semester and it's a brand new experience for me. It is very, very exciting. Uh, you might have heard of me talking about this in the previous several videos, I think. If you haven't though, you will hear more about it in this video. I wanted to sit down and share my thoughts and observations and my experience so far with teaching as it is a very, very new experience to me. And I wanted this to be a reflection video. And also uh, if anyone is interested in a teaching career in the future or now, it might also be helpful for them. So just wanted to share my thoughts and experiences so far with teaching and how that differs from a regular corporate or startup job or an agency job within the marketing field. So if that is interesting to you, stay tuned and let's continue. So if you have been to my channel before, if you know me from other social media platforms, you know that my context is a little bit different, especially this year, given the fact that I am on maternity leave and in most of my videos or my content, you see my daughter um, as I kind of part-time continue to work while I am still entertaining her. So she might again be in this video. I tried to film this without her, but that video footage was unfortunately um, a very bad one, so I had to delete it and now I'm starting over. So without further ado, let's get started. And again, to bring you up to date with my context within teaching it was a long time dream of mine to teach at a university but i did not go the academic way i, I did not uh, go ahead and pursue a phd instead i have an mba after my undergraduate studies and i've been in the work field and held several different positions at different types of companies and had different marketing roles. So that is my context. I'm coming from the business side of things instead of the academic side. And I always wondered if I would be able to teach a course at a university or college uh, without having a PhD. And thankfully I was able to. Uh, if you're interested in the story of how I got the job, that is for another day. Uh, you can let me know if you want to hear that as well. But this one is more about my reflections and my experience so far. Before Ada starts to rip off my notes for this video, let's get started and I will share a couple of things that I've observed so far in the first two weeks and how I'm feeling so far. So the number one thing that struck my attention is that it is one thing to know something and to do it in real life, but it is a completely different thing to teach it. And don't take anything that I say in this video as a complaint, it's just the observations I had so far. And they are challenges that I am currently really enjoying, but I do wanna share the reality in case you are considering of doing the same thing, or if you're just interested in hearing the story itself. Okay, so this is turning out much more difficult than I thought it would be. Uh, I already ripped off my speaking notes. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna keep it quick and share with you the observations because if I don't do it th today, then I will probably never end up doing it. So number one thing that struck my attention is that it is very different to know something very good and be skillful at it and to know how to do it basically. But it's something completely different uh, when it comes to teaching someone else or a group of people. And it definitely requires a different skill set and a lot more uh, things that you need to consider when you're teaching it, especially if you are starting from scratch, because sometimes once we know something, I realize that it's very difficult to unlearn it and go back to the basics and start with the basics when you are teaching someone else. So that is definitely number one. Number two thing that I want to talk about is how difficult it is to encourage class participation and now being in the shoes of a professor, a teacher, an educator, now I feel sorry for my professors in the past whenever they were trying to do the same and they weren't really getting much responses from the classroom. So I have so much empathy for them these days and it's really difficult uh, to do that 
even though you try and you uh, try to engage them with different tactics, there's always a couple of people who are more willing to talk and speak up and the others are just either listening or they are, I don't know what they're doing. You never know. And that brings me to my third point, which is I constantly find myself thinking if the information I'm sharing is interesting or if it's boring them or if they're actually listening or not, if they're playing solitaire, if they're doing, I don't know, if they're playing Candy Crush, sending WhatsApp messages, I don't really care if they are doing that because I truly believe in a learner-centric approach and uh, unless the student unless the student wants to learn what's going on in the classroom then there's no way that they will learn and this course and the program is really related to having a career in marketing which I think is a good enough reason for the students to be um, motivated to learn and listen to the educator so um, that's my opinion but I still have the questions in my mind am I boring the students is this topic interesting am I forgetting something that I needed to tell them and it's, it's this constant self-doubt that you have while trying to um, take care of the class and cover the topic I don't think Ada has any more patience for me so the last point I want to make is that there is so much more work than what's visible to the eye there is so much preparation work that goes into this teaching uh, there is so much um engagement that you have to do uh, with your students there's a lot of admin work that you have to do um, and so on and so forth so there's just so much more than what's visible to the eye this isn't to say that the job itself is bad or it's boring or it's too much work but i think it's just important to realize that there is more to uh, teaching than what seems. You're not just spending time in the classroom teaching the students or covering a topic. There is just a whole big like picture behind it and it's it's important to notice that and be aware of that. Change of spot in the house because this has got to be one of the most challenging video shootings I've ever done since starting YouTube, I think. Uh, Ada is incredibly impatient. To be honest, it is very, very challenging and there is just so much to learn. The learning curve is huge, but it is something that I truly enjoy doing. It's Although it's very much out of my comfort zone, I've always known uh, deep down that I would love to do teaching in a university or college environment because I really enjoy sharing my knowledge and experiences with other people and to bring them value and to help them grow in their careers and to become uh, better marketers, better professionals and more self-confident individuals in general. So that is uh, something I truly enjoy doing and having the opportunity to teach at a university to a group of students is it's something I'm so very grateful about and so far I'm loving the experience I'm loving the learning curve although it's a lot of work especially when I have to kind of juggle between motherhood and other um, stuff that I'm working on and teaching but it's really a great experience especially as I am starting to engage more with the students as they get to know me and and as they feel more uh, motivated to engage with the class I think it's just going to become much more fun and and much more satisfying on my end because I will start to see that they are more interested in the course as well. So I'm really looking forward to learning more and experiencing more in this new uh, environment, in this new job of teaching and I am currently really enjoying it. I feel really grateful and satisfied about what I'm doing because I get to share my knowledge, I get to uh, help my students, I get to educate them about uh, marketing analytics, which is one of the key areas of marketing that any marketer needs to be skillful in. And that's all for today's video. Thanks so much for listening. I don't think my daughter has any more patience, so I better go and feed her. And stay tuned for other marketing videos, career videos, and other content that is coming up on this channel. Thanks so much for watching and take care. I will see you next time.